Hi everyone, welcome back to Java One for All. In this video, we are going to talk about how we can update our data. And before we actually update our data, make sure you have Docker Compose running. And to have Docker Compose running, you need your Docker engine also running. So Docker engine running and then Docker Compose up. And then you go all the way to MySQL Workbench. Okay, how can we get the SQL? You can do some changes here. Uh, for example, just add anything and you click over apply and you have your instruction and then don't forget to revert. Now, when updating, and probably if you're an experienced developer, I don't have to tell you this, but when you are updating something, please, 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 please be very, 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 and add very for like 24 hours straight, use the where instruction. I have seen companies just having to shut down because someone messed up with their database uh, you just need one wrong instruction to destroy a full database and if you don't have like a backup that's it uh, it's probably you're probably done so these days you do have some tools that may be able to help you but when you are updating something i would advise you always start like this and then you write your instruction here and you will never going to forget the where because you forget the, the instruction where you are probably having uh, some SQL exception when you are trying to run. So this is what we are looking for. Now, Control C or Control X. Let's go back to our project. Go all the way to your producer repository. You can just duplicate this, pressing Control D as Delta. And then update. We are going to ask for a producer because we need the entire object we are going to need the id and also the name so as you can see we need the name basically replace this by percent s and here percent d and here you called producer dot get name and then producer dot get id then the connection factor the same thing create statement execute uh, update and now updated producer with id affected rows and here is producer dot get id so when working with logs be very careful because there is something called dii that you have to be very careful that's the personally in the identifiable information so when you are logging uh, you don't log personal data. I would say even the ID is kind of a, a gray area because you can technically find someone uh, through their ID. And usually in production, you don't have the log set to info. But that's something that you should be worried about. Do not ever log documents uh, number or passport number or anything that can identify a person. An error trying to update producer and then producer dot get id okay so the update is ready in the repository now we are going to the service so i will copy this and one thing that you will notice here is that we are going to duplicate some code so here we have to ask for the producer and when we are updating we need the id so producer dot get id cannot be null so if it's equal to null or producer dot get id is lower than zero we have this exception and here we update passing the producer so how can we improve this because we have kind of the same thing here and here you can create private static um, void require valid ID. And here we ask for integer ID. And then we copy this, control X. And then here you pass the producer dot get ID. So what can we do here with these errors you just replace with id here and id 
right here. So now the same method can be used here. And I think IntelliJ is probably going to give me a warning. Yeah, because there is no way for primitives to be null, but it can be lower than zero. So we can solve this, wrapping this into a wrapper. Okay, so it's looking pretty, pretty clean. And we just need to go to the connection factory test. Let's comment this out. Let's duplicate the producer because we have producer to update. And every time we are going to update, we need ID. Let's see which one we are going to update. Madhouse ID one. So ID one and ID one will have everything uppercase. Now we just call producer service update and then we pass the producer to update object control shift f10 looks like everything worked perfectly fine let's go back to our database control enter and we have the name all uppercase so our update method is working perfectly fine now with this uh, we finished the statement because we have like update we have delete and we have the create the save now we are going to retrieve data and to retrieve data we have to use the result set so this is what we are going to do in the next video i hope you enjoyed see you there bye bye